Thanks. All right, this is Paul from Frankfurt, Germany, and this is his very first RoboTaxi ride and also experience with FSD. So let's go ahead and get on in. I'm so excited. I'll let you choose which side you want. Now on this one, we're gonna be going near the airport, so we're gonna be on the highway. And because we're gonna be on the highway, the safety monitor is behind the wheel this time. So uh, that is a little bit something different and it'll be great to, to see how this goes. So let's, let's go. talked about we're in the robo taxi right now here's paul from frankfurt and with this experiment we're going to be going on the highway at least that's what we think and so as mentioned the safety uh, observer is on the uh, driver's side right now and that's uh part of the robo taxi's uh, service decision to do that and it's about being uh you know extra safe at this point of the uh, testing campaign and uh, so we'll see how this works. And we're going over near the airport, which is why uh, we are trying to take the, uh, uh, the highways. And this is uh, why the uh, safety observers on the left side today. Heard like Austin um, has a lot of traffic. Yeah, well, yeah. it's like this, but that's because there's a lot of construction that's going on here. Uh, but yeah, I-35, which is that road there, is never really fun, uh, but I have to drive it a lot. You mean like north and south, depending on? Yeah, the... it's, it's, for me, it's pretty much the only way I can get from where I live in San Antonio to Giga, Texas every day. You're able to break the car with the, with the speed, I guess? Um, I don't know what their protocols are from left seat, right seat. Yeah. Um, it's, but it would make sense. Yeah, stuff like that they don't really go into. They don't. They don't give us that information. Yeah, so it's all speculation. Um, so much of all of that speculation. Yeah. Okay, so Paul and I got the first ride under our belt, and you got a chance to experience that. Uh, we are going to take another ride, and in this one, I'm going to be asking him some questions about his experience while we're in the vehicle. But so far, what did you think? Um, boringly amazing? No, what was it? Boringly good. Boringly good. It's insane. All right. Well, let's get into the uh, taxi and then we'll talk about uh, your experiences inside. Cool. All right. Paul and I are in the robo taxi and uh, I just asked you what you thought and you said, you know, boringly good was kind of the thing. But uh, talk to me a little bit more. First of all, why are you so interested in uh, robo taxis full self-driving uh, where did you come from and what experience do you have with this to start off with okay so i'm, I'm coming from frankfurt and um, i don't have uh, any experience with fsd at all um, i mean it's supposedly coming into the into europe right um, <laughs> maybe two weeks right right <laughs> but um, yeah, so, so I'm, I was really looking forward uh, to do um, any sort of FSD ride. I actually asked a couple of people to uh, let me in their car, but now this uh, appears to be the best thing that you can imagine, being in a robo taxi right. and experiencing that. Well, and you got a chance to experience uh, with me for the first time driving on the highway, which is a new addition to the robo taxi. and. Uh, when they do that, because they want to be extra safe, they put the driver or the, the uh, monitor in the driver's seat, but it's still autonomously driving. So what what do you think about it driving you around? Is it crazy? Is it scary? What? What were your thoughts? No, it was just so smooth. It was just everything. I mean, it, it is a little bit crazy um, when you just experience it, when you realize that this car is driving itself, but, um, and it, for me as a technology nerd somehow, um, I, re I used AI for my research and I really am interested in the uh, advantages of AI. So I'm really interested of uh, seeing the car uh, behave in certain conditions and it just manages it very, I mean, flawlessly for now. So uh, this, is, this is just awesome. All right, well, and uh, you got a chance to see it not only on the highway, but 
with a lot of construction, a lot of uh, traffic, uh, which is very typical here at Austin. Um, and uh, what we tried to do is go to the airport, which is within the service area, but it uh, isn't allowing us to get quite there yet. But uh, uh, but yeah, so what did you think about how it handled situations like uh, construction and traffic and everything else? As I said, flawlessly better than me. I mean, I'm, I'm new to the streets and I like I make mistakes every every time pretty much so driving in the US is something different than driving in Europe of course and um, you can see that it has been trained on a lot of data and it is like really good well that uh, brings up another point I, I mentioned to you off camera but a lot of my uh, international uh, viewers that have come in for robo taxi rides have commented about how it makes it so much nicer if you're in a different country that you don't know all the rules to be driven around. So talk a little bit more about that. I mean, why is that so important? Yeah, I mean, um, I realize that um, sometimes I feel, uh, when I'm driving here, I feel a little bit like um, a newer driver. Like I had my license for a um, shorter amount of time because I have to concentrate constantly on various aspects and um, this makes it, of course, so much, well, yeah, you can look around, you can see how the buildings are, how all of the streets are, so I'm, I'm, I'm interested in how the, the country looks like, and uh, you can do so if you're just sitting in a freshly clean white robot taxi, right? Well, you mentioned uh, Uber. You've, have you had experience getting Uber rides? Just once. I actually downloaded the app just two days ago when I okay. arrived in Austin because I wasn't sure how I could get into the, the first stop, my motel. So I downloaded the app and took my first ride on my own app. I think I've, I've taken a ride somewhere in, in Frankfurt as well. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I mean, they have some pickup spots at the airport. You have to go to, uh, to a certain location and they all show you where, where to go. Um, and it was good. I mean, um, I, I couldn't complain about that uh, Uber ride. Actually, I mean, I had like, the, the person said I could um, manage the, the climate. I, I, I should just tell him to, I don't know, change climate. Yeah. And I told him that it's too cold for me now. So I was sweating first, but yeah. then it was too cold. So, and then I wasn't, like I was probably too shy just to tell him that he should even make it a little bit more hotter. So in the last five minutes, pretty much I was, too cold. I mean, it's my problem, you know. Yeah. I should, I should have just told him. But, but yeah. as far as you know, getting a ride, getting to where you're going, the Uber service, the Robo Taxi service. Uh, uh, I mean, it, does it seem like it's they're they're both doing pretty good? I mean, how does the Robo Taxi compare? I mean, for you couldn't tell the difference. Actually, yeah, you couldn't tell the difference. Um, but I could change the, the temperature right. straight away. Yeah. <laughs> but that shouldn't be the first um, the first thing, changing the temperature, right? right. But um, in terms of, of driving behavior, um, it is insane. Okay. It's really like so close, I would say. You know, like the March of Nines, I don't know how long it will go, but it is really close. So, this is your first chance to be in a robo taxi on this side with nobody in the driver's seat. So what do you think? How does this feel to you? It is crazy. Yeah? Yes. Why? It feels surreal. Uh-huh. It is, um, <laughs> well, I mean, I've seen it steering. But, right. Um, yeah, something's missing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you're getting this experience, uh, not only FSD, but what is it like to have nobody in the driver's seat? It is awesome. It is, it is here. I'm just so, so curious how it um, somehow reacts to certain things. Oh, he just pressed the button. It's yeah. like a snap, snap, mm -hmm. snapshot. Nice. Well, cool. Well, you know, you mentioned trying to get it over in Germany. I know that it's uh, more than just Tesla deciding to get it over there. It's also the, the the various governing bodies. But I do hope that you guys get it very soon. Yeah, me too, of course. Like, I heard Netherlands. What was the other one? Norway, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, 
I know that they have been testing it in a, in a couple of uh, cities and um, pending regulatory approval. I mean, that's what Europe is, is known for, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, cool. Well, thanks for uh, coming along and uh, sharing a little bit of your thoughts and experiences about RoboTaxi. Thank you for the ride. Thank you for the content.